Hey guys, so I figured I'd record this. I just got my ant nest in that I ordered online. And um, I'm peeling off the, the brown stuff now. Now I have bottles of AliExpress for like 15 euros or something, so it was really cheap. But now I get this and there's not even an instruction manual, so that's pretty interesting. So I'll be in for um, some puzzling, so I'll pull off all the uh, thing and expose the acrylic and then I'll keep you guys posted of how things go. Yeah. Yeah, I'll uh, keep you guys posted. Right, this shit takes forever. I've done this bit, that bit, that bit, that bit, this bit, that one, and that one. And I still have these four, five to go. <sighs> Yay. So I finished peeling everything off. But it smells kind of weird because of the glue of the paper that was on it. So I'm going to wash them off real quick and then I'll meet you back. That took quite a while by the way. Okay, so I washed everything, I laid everything out. And now it's time to figure out how to assemble this thing. So let's get, uh, get cracking. Progress, we got the nest thing on. With a water thing in it. Screws in it. So now I need to make the art world using the left of the panels, or the rest of the panels, and we should be good to go. I'll update you once I've done that. Okay, I think that's the finished product. So one thing I'm not sure about is what this thing is for. In the pictures they slide it in here, but it's way too big for that, firstly. And secondly, then you block off these two areas, which I don't really see the purpose of. And then um, one of the little tubes that goes in here is missing so I have two screws left to put in here but there's no there's like a copper thing that goes in there but it's fine it's really tightly attached so that and another thing is there's a really really small slip in here that maybe the ants can get in between but I'll just put a bead of hot glue there and I'll fill up this hole with hot glue too and then it should be fixed and also took this to put on top of the nest so um, the nesting area is dark and the ants can go in here to forage and this is like the let that comes off so yeah for like 15 euros I think this is pretty neat hell yes Okay, so we'll be putting one of these colonies in there someday. Not right now, because right now I'm going to go do some other stuff, but yeah. Or I might do that in this video actually. Yeah, I'll just upload the video once I've done that. So yeah, that's um, the end nest I made. Cool. Okay, so I have um, put the bead of hot glue on and uh, put the hot glue in the screw, so it's time to move in the nest. So um, this is a colony that wasn't moving into the tube for some reason, so I just thought it was the most convenient colony to move in. I've got like six L Niger colonies right now that are similarly sized, similarly sized, so uh, yeah, I put it in this one. And uh, yeah, <laughs> that's about it. Um, one thing I've noticed is the water goes into the blue thing, right, and then I just kind of goes under the white thing I get, or, like fills up the black area around it that goes like in and around the nest and I already know where the water goes then and if you put in too much it kind of leaks out the sides so that's one thing but it doesn't get in the nest area so I don't really know how that works but I suppose it works I put the aluminum foil on there to uh, create the dark area so the ants would be encouraged to move in the entire room is dark now though but in the morning I'll take it out and put in the light so that hopefully they'll move into the nest soon and then we can observe them a lot better. So that'd be really cool. I'm sorry for not giving you that good of an angle of the colony, but it's like one queen with like about seven to eight workers in there, so yeah. Once they've moved, I'll give them a feet. So yeah, that's it.